Hi guys and welcome to the Wolves Scope and today we've got a Newcastle versus Wolves match preview ahead of the game on Friday. Now just a little side note before we do begin, you may have seen me on here before as the Old Gold TV. Now, let me clarify, clear this up, this is the exact same channel as the Old Gold TV. I've just decided to give it a new brand name, a new logo and some new graphics just to freshen it up a little bit and I also think that having the name Wolves in the title of the channel could hopefully bring in some more viewers just to clarify what we're about before they even click on the video. So I'm pretty happy with this um, and hopefully it can do well and we can start uploading a bit more consistently. But if you do like the video, please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below how you think this game will go. But onto the game itself, I think it should be a fairly interesting one with Wolves having quite a lot to fight for. Newcastle slightly less, they have cleared themselves from that relegation zone, you could say, with around seven games of the season left. Eddie Howe has done a brilliant job. Granted, he did have uh, uh, lots of money to spend in January to spend on some you know, really, really good additions to the squad. But Newcastle won't be an easy game for Wolves. Beat them 2-1 at Molyneux earlier in the season. Um, and I think they're going to put up a good fight at St. James's Park. And it's certainly not a guaranteed three points for Wolves. But it is a really good opportunity for us. Because if we do win, I believe we can go ahead into sixth place. Granted, West Ham have one game in hand on us and United have two. So that could all change over the weekend. Uh, but yeah, let me see how that will go. And hopefully the Wolves can be in those European sixth or seventh spots by the end of the weekend. But let's move on to my one-to-watches for both teams. As always, if you don't know how this part of the video goes, I basically pick one player from each team that I think uh, could play well on Friday night and is, well, as it says in the title, a one to watch for the game. So we'll start off with Wolves. And I was thinking about this, I was leaning towards one man and one man only, and that's Fabio Silva. The 19-year-old Portuguese striker uh, sort of had a coming-of-age performance, I guess, at Villa. He was so good, physically bullied, Consa and Mings all, all 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 afternoon. He was just such a physical presence. He got in there, he wrestled with them, you know, he tussled, he went for every single ball, he had shots, he wasn't scared to drive. He was just so, so good and he deserved a goal. Um, and he set up a brilliant opportunity for Trinkal, which he probably should have finished uh, for an assist there. But Fabio Silva, I've got a feeling he's going to score tonight. You know, he did miss a little bit of an opportunity against Villa. I mean... And I, I really do think that Fabio Silva is going to kick on for the rest of this season um, and hopefully into next season. And hopefully a goal against Newcastle could really shake things up for him and get him really off the mark for his Wolves career. But let's move on to our Newcastle one to watch. OK, as for our Newcastle one to watch, I mean, I was thinking, I was looking at who's in form. But I just can't help leaning towards Alisson Maximum because if something special is going to happen with Newcastle, it's probably going to come through him. The French winger is just so, so skillful. You know, there's not much he can do when he's on top form to stop him. And it could make things even more interesting with him reportedly being allowed to leave Newcastle this summer with Wolves, one of the teams that are quoted to be interested in in a deal for the Frenchman. But as I say, anything that happens for Newcastle is likely to come from him. What a player he is, and he can provide magic at any time in a game. He's absolutely Newcastle's one to watch. But let's move on to my score prediction for this game. As for any kind of score prediction, it's always hard with Wolves because you never know what kind of team is going to show up. But under Bruno Large, we've definitely, especially in the second half of the season, we, I'm sure you've seen this stat on Twitter uh, in the past few days, but we're only behind Tottenham and Liverpool, I believe it is, for goals scored in 2022. We have 20, Tottenham off something like 22 and Liverpool off something like 24. I'm not exactly certain, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. That's completely unheard of for Wolves, isn't it? I mean, even at the start of Bruno Large's reign, um, the first part of the season, we weren't scoring any goals and that was our big issue. Um, so I think that Wolves could score a lot of goals here at St. James's with Newcastle shipping five to Tottenham on Sunday. So I'm leaning towards a Wolves win, but then again, something like Leeds could happen. Um, and, if, and it frustrates me because I know we can't really say this because, you know, other things happen in seasons like a 3-2 Villa win, like that shouldn't have happened. But if we would have held on against Leeds, even got a point, we'd been right in there for that top four race at this point. 
Uh, so yeah, a bit frustrating, but you know, what can you do? You've got to move on to the next one. And I do believe that Wolves will win this. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 Wolves win. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the match uh, down below in the comments. And let me also know your thoughts on the new brand name, the new graphics. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.